How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooks HD. Today uh, is the Ireland game, Ireland versus Sweden. I'm going up to the pub to watch it with my mate. Hopefully, there'll be a few people there. The bands will be had. I'm going to vlog that bit, and then when we come back, I will be talking and like kind of reviewing the game, how I thought we did, if we won. Hopefully, that will be the case, or how we won it, if how we lost it, if that happens, how we drew the game, how we can improve, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I really, really am. I'm going to vlog the whole pub trip. I think this will be my first ever vlog, like proper outside of the house vlog, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. Let's get into it. Please Ireland, win this fucking game! Hey, we're in the car on the way over. My sister's bringing me over. She is red as fuck. She got sunburned over the weekend. She kind of fucked herself up, but it doesn't matter. I've seen the lineup for the Ireland squad. It's probably the best 11 we can put out, but we'll have to see what happens. Okay, Jeff Hendricks has hit the bar. Jesus Christ. Wisdom, alongside Martin O'Neill. Get up, you fucking bitch. Look at this place. Look at this place. Look at this place. Look at this place. Alright, it's half time. Pretty good half. I have no idea whether you can hear me or not. It's uh, going good. We can definitely do better though. We can win this game. Come on. Fucking Clark just scored. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, mate. We're gonna win this game. Ruby. Brady's corner. Come on, Orlando. Brady. Cross. So close, so close. To be fair, we probably should have won that game, but we didn't. At least I got drunk. It's a good result though. Realistically, we can go now and we have two matches. If we can get a draw or a win, we have a good chance of going through third. This is Nick, by the way, my good friend. So, as you've probably seen by now, uh, Sweden and Ireland drew. Um, I went down to the pub to watch it. I vlogged it, as you've seen in the intro and stuff like that. Allow me, I'm a little bit um, intoxicated, but let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the actual football game itself. Now, obviously, I watched the full 90 minutes. Um, it was a good game. It really was a good game. Ireland showed some very positive signs. Very positive signs that we can do something maybe against Belgium and Italy. Now, going back to the game itself, we should have won that game. No hands. Like, we should have easily won that game. The first half, we were all over Sweden. The amount of chances we had that we just couldn't put away. Jeff Hendricks shot against the, uh, the crossbar. Robbie Brady's right-footed strike from outside the box. John O'Shea just missing the ball with that much bouncing around the box. We should have... 
like easily had two goals from that first half. It takes a Wes Houlihan banger uh, to make the score one nil, and then Kieran Clark accidentally puts the goal in or the ball into the goal. Ah, uh, fuck me, I can't see properly. Then again, I am Irish, so that makes sense. Anyways, it was a good game, and I seen a lot of positives from that game. I the, I also seen a lot of negatives. Let's put it that way. Negative being. We cannot close a game. We cannot see a 1-0 lead through. Um, we should have easily won that game, and we didn't. Now, if you ask me before the game, would I have rather um, a 1-1 draw? Guaranteed, I would have taken it any day of the week, because at least it's points on the board. But Sweden also have a point, which is a bad thing. Um, depending on what happens in the Belgium Italy game, you guys will probably know what happens between them, because that's going to start in three minutes. It depends on what happens there, but... Italy have no striker. They have Graziano Pelle and that's it. The rest of the team is solid, obviously. They've got a great team other than the striker. They know Balotelli firing on all cylinders like they did last uh, four time, four years ago. Sorry. Um, Belgium are a lot better than they used to be. They've got some incredible players like De Bruyne, Hazard, Alderweireld, Vertonghen, Courtois. Company's not there, which is a massive plus. We can do something against these teams. Now, we're never going to win them games. I don't think anyways. I don't feel confident that we can win them games. I feel confident we can draw against them. And that's honestly, like, my honest opinion. Maybe I'm biased because I'm Irish or whatever, but uh, I really see that being the case. Now, let's talk about the sweden Ireland game. I've already... <laughs> I don't know what this video is going to be like. We should have easily won that game. And I'm still sitting here thinking it's a draw. It's a draw. We got the points. We were we would have killed for a draw at the start of the game. But when you go 1-0 up, thanks to a brilliant goal by Wes Houlihan, who I highlighted before in the match saying Wes Houlihan is crucial for this Ireland team. And he really is. He's our, he's our linchpin between the strikers and the midfield and he just sets up stuff for days he scores the goal and then Kieran Clark with an own goal to be fair it was kind of coming Sweden were attacking like I think after the goal went in Sweden had maybe three attacks that were very good in the next three or four minutes so it was coming you could see it coming we did try to score we brought on McLean McGeady and somebody uh, Robbie Keane how can I forget about Robbie Keane we should have closed it out and we didn't it was a 1-1, the match finished 1-1. A good point, in my opinion, but we should have been able, able to get three points there. It would have been crucial. If we had got that three points, we would have more than likely been guaranteed our place in the next set of uh, qualifiers. All we can hope for now is that there are two teams worse than Ireland um, who get in third that have got no points. And we can manage to get third, which means we have to get something against Belgium and Sweden, or uh, Belgium and Italy, sorry. So, that's all we can hope for. Um, I will do another one of these videos for the Belgium game coming up Saturday, 2 o'clock, if you are interested in watching that game. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, and you enjoyed me being uh, slightly intoxicated, let's put it that way. Uh, they were fucking bastards in the pub. They were just giving me points at the points. Well, whatever. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Fucking win next time, you cunts!